Hi, and welcome back to Apron Academy. As you have noticed, there is full coloured pictures of two ladies here. And that is because I have actually done a little bit of uh, this to actually test. And in fact, when you actually come to this uh, menu screen, all of the images will be blacked out like these other three. Uh, but I just wanted to uh, test uh, the game works on all these settings and everything else and see what it's about before I actually uh, did show it. And I totally forgot to actually mention that in the uh, last episode. So, yeah, welcome back to Apron Academy. Uh, this is a virtual uh, novel game where your character Tyler is getting a job now. So, let's load up and continue the story. Are you sure? Yep. And I like to add at this note, uh, there's no music, so it's all blank for me. And it's just going to be my voice, but hopefully if there's some more music in the game, I will implement that. I woke up, though, to the loud pounding sound of a fist slamming repeatedly against my door. That's daddy. Well, dad. Yeah, <laughs> look at the time, mate. What? Oh, fuck. I turned my head quickly to see the time on my alarm clock. 7.30 a.m. He was here already there and I think that should be on the other side same private I quickly jumped practically vaulting out of bed and got dressed into a set of clothes that I didn't pack I didn't have time for a shower but I didn't reek so it didn't matter to me I rushed to the door and opened it to see my dad staring at me. Watching the frustration in his eye melt into surprise at the sight of my mostly packed room somehow felt satisfying. I didn't tell him that I had gotten a job and apparently, neither did my uncle. On holiday. Don't yawn, matey boy. My dad scanned my room, taken in the sight before he looked back to me and nodded. As he stepped back to give me space to exit my room, I mentally gave myself a high five. Ah, there you go, Dad. I'm out of here. I made my way out of my room and walked into the front room, seeing my mother and uncle sitting on the couches. The moment I entered spurred them to turn their heads towards me. I looked at my uncle, surprised to see him not in a military uniform but in some sort of butler's outfit. That was the last thing I expected to see him in. Well, yeah, or it could be just full more tire. Yo, not really the thing that you say, is it, to your peers?
and very nice uh, animations there on the mouth when talking. It will be actually nice to see a same thing towards their uh, mum and dad because they're just uh, blacked out canvas at the moment. With Tyler, you kind of know what he looks like, uh, even though he's cartoonish, because I did put his image on the thumbnail of the first episode. My uncle stood and looked me over before walking over and standing over me. He was a bit taller than me. So I had to look up at him. I felt a little intimidated being looked down upon. This will actually uh, come out a little bit clearer on why this is happening. Yeah, Seymour. What are you? Before my mother could finish, my uncle began to circle my form like a vulture. I followed his body with my head and eyes as much as I could without turning my body. Why was he sizing me up? At least he stopped in front of me and turned to my mother. Yep, probably the first time she's heard that. Yes, a job. What? What physically fit? That statement practically screamed that the job involved manual labor, making a part of my soul die a bit. I was going to regret this. I knew I was. And here is dear old dad. My dad finally joined us and sat with my mom on the couch. As my uncle stood by my side, he had perfect posture with his hands clasped behind his back. I felt small and slouched, just standing next to him. Oh, look at that superior form on him. Awesome. be alright, because one, parents wanted me to get a job, two, I believe they wanted me out, three, uh, it's a two in one package job and moving out in the same offer. So, my mother opened her mouth. Most likely to protest, but my father placed a comforting but firm hand on her shoulder, stopping her. Mm. Ah, now he wanted to know if I was okay with this. I nodded, resolved in what I had agreed to do. That is true. I had to throw an extra jab at him before I left. My dad seemed to miss it, though, as he nodded and looked to my uncle. And that's a jab from dad. Cheers. Discipline, 
Okay, it is definitely sounding to be uh, militarized, isn't it? I was generally surprised at my uncle. He really thought I had potential. Maybe this job wouldn't be so bad after all. At least with him as my boss or manager. I got to say goodbye to my parents before packing my stuff into a moving truck that my uncle brought. More surprises. My entire room was cleared out and I was out of the house. When I walked towards the truck to ride passenger, however, there were two men already in the seats. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, dokey. I looked to my uncle and almost felt my jaw drop off its sockets from the sight. In my driveway, hidden by the side of the houses, was my uncle slowly easing out towards the street in a luxury car. What the hell? My uncle waited and watched me from his rolled down tinted window most likely counting how long it took me to wipe the surprise off my face and finally get in. As I finally did, I began to make my way to the passenger seat. Okay. But you're my uncle, why can't I be at the front? That's why there's two seats at the front. Okay, okay. Grinched. I grinched. <sighs> Sorry if I said that wrong. I wasn't a kid. Why? Did he want me to sit in the back seat? That was dumb. I rolled my eyes after closing them so my uncle wouldn't see my irritation. As I made my way to the back seat door, I opened it and slid inside without a second thought, not noticing the large men in suits inside with my uncle. Uh, what have I got myself into here? Uh, I'm sorry that start of that music was really gripping and I think I've figured out what music I'm going to put at the beginning. Or shall I leave it for something else? Yeah, we'll see. As a hand with a piece of cloth suddenly covered my mouth, my eyes shut open and looked around, finally seeing the extra people in the car. Before I could thrash and protest, my mind suddenly began to feel foozy, fuzzy, and my eyes unwittingly closed. Did he just get chloroformed? Seriously, what is going on here? Uncle! I could barely make out my uncle trying to speak to me as he rolled up his window. 
Relax. We'll be awake by the time we arrive. Okie dokie. Then I became victim to the darkness of my mind. What was going on? Why did my uncle let men drug me? Where was he taking me? I was panicking, but only in my unconscious thoughts. I couldn't feel where we were going, nor what was happening. I prayed to every deity in the sky that I would make it out of this situation alive and unharmed. Finally, I was able to wake up. I was lying down on a very soft leather seat, but I was staring up at the roof of a car. Was I still in that damned vehicle? My head was pounding violently, causing me to groan and cover my forehead with my hand. What the hell happened? I had a million questions running in my mind, but they only added to the pressure that was pulsating in my skull. Round time? You time this is all scheduled as well? What a guy! Here we go. So this is actually the uh, luxury uh, vehicle. Luxury vehicle? That looks like a... A limousine. I turned my head to my uncle's voice to see that I was inside of a limo, far away from the driver's seat and partition. The window was rolled down so I could see my uncle staring at me, as if he had been waiting for me to finally shake off whatever drug he dosed me with. My rage flared at the sight of my uncle and I rolled off the seat I was on, not caring about me slamming onto the ground, I glared at my uncle quickly readjusting myself despite the short height of the limo. Did you bang your head or something? Yeah. My uncle seemed unfazed and simply got out of the car. I watched from the tinted windows as he walked around and opened the door out of the limo near me. And you know what? Uh, I'm actually going to leave this episode right here on this uh, cliffhanger. Why was he drugged? Why was it <laughs> our uncle doing this to us? What's going on? All these questions will be answered in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching this episode. Please leave a like, a comment down below, subscribe to the channel for more Apron Academy plus all of the games I upload to the channel. But most of all, have a brilliant, fantastic day, you wonderful, brilliant, beautiful, fantastic people. And hit that bell for all notifications.